Hi everyone, welcome back. I know, long time no see. Um, I've been gone for about a month now, I haven't been making a video, but um, I'm back today. And I just got back from a trip to Las Vegas. Uh, me and my husband went for our anniversary, even though our anniversary is really not till the 26th of December. We decided to um, hit it up a little early because my son was able to come and watch the dogs and the cat and the fish. And um, if you know, I have three corgis and uh, one cat and a fish. And it's kind of hard just to take off unless we have somebody to watch them. And right now my son is, um, uh, he did his finals for um, college, um, I believe the last day was Tuesday, one of the days we were gone and um, uh, so he was able to uh, come down and watch the dogs for us and so we kind of have to plan our trips around um, who can watch the dogs and mostly the most of the time my son does it and so if you see I'm all bundled up today is because it is freezing cold today it must be in the 30s outside and um, unless we get the central heat running through here, it's cold, and we usually just use those small heaters in the house, and um, it's a freezing, freezing, freezing. And it did snow a little bit while we were gone, and it's funny because in Las Vegas, it was, I expected it to be cold, and actually it was um, pretty warm down there, so you could actually wear a, a short sleeve shirt and walk around outside and not be cold at all. So um, anyway, uh, I wanted to do, today I wanted to do a video on um, BB creams and the Rachel K CC cream that um, I had purchased from uh, Lisa Lisa D One's website. And um, I have one, two, three, four, five BB CC creams um, for my review today. Um, starting with my most favorite one and um, actually my most favorite one you've seen before if you watch my videos um, is uh, this super blemish balm skin 79 and this is what it looks like um, this is the item here and um, I've been using this for at least about I would say a good seven months and um, I bought this off Amazon.com and the price for this was very cheap it um, it's selling right now for eight dollars and sixty five cents and um, it has 40 grams in it it's a SPF of 25 and this supposedly smooths away lines leaving skin elastic um, and uh, I don't know if this one's whitening, but I'll, let me just read something on the back of it, what it says. Yes, it is whitening. It's whitening, wrinkles improvements, ultraviolet rays, interception, um, three functions certifi uh, certification. So anyway, this um, was made in Korea also. And let me just show you a little bit of what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It is a, I would say... It does have color to it. It's not totally um, opaque, but it um, has a slight bit of coverage. Now, a lot of people, I'm sure you cannot see that real good, but a lot of people say this has a sort of grayish cast to it. I don't find that to be um, true for me. I actually love this one. This is my favorite one, and it is the cheapest one that I purchased. And um, I had seen this um, about a year ago, maybe, on YouTube. Uh, some of the YouTubers were doing um, reviews about this, so I, I went ahead and purchased it. And I absolutely love it. So I really, really recommend this one. I love it. I use it under my makeup, under my foundation, um, and it works beautifully. It just seems to uh, smooth out your skin. Um, I, notice, uh, I don't notice uh, small pores. Um, it makes your face with your foundation look pretty much flawless. So for the price and as much as you're getting, I love this. And I did order it off Amazon.com. So that's my number one pick right there. The second one I would have to say I was using while I was um, on vacation in Las Vegas. And that is the one, the Rachel K. Cream 
from um, Lisa Lisa D1 that I had purchased. Now I do love this because I find this to be almost very similar coverage to this one right here. But I'll tell you right now that this Rachel K CC cream was um, quite expensive compared to this one. This CC cream that I purchased from Lisa was $37.99. And that includes, you know, shipping and um, I guess I don't know if she's charging anything else, but shipping it was 30, it came to, the, the price of this was $32. With shipping, it was $37.99. And um, here's my invoice from Lisa. You can see that, that's how much it was. Um, but I do love the product. And you get 40 grams of product in this. And this is a CC cream. It's, it's you know it's not a BB cream, but I think the CC creams and the BB creams very similar. Um, I don't know if there's that much of a difference. I didn't notice that much of a difference from using this, but I do like it. And let me read what it says on the back of this. It says the CC cream is much more refined and improved BB cream, which combines various benefits all in one color control oil control whitening brightening moisturizing and UV protection of, of SPF 35 now this has a higher SPF in it and I find um, a lot of products that have SPF in it um, are very hard to put on the skin um, it seems that they don't go on very smooth they kind of ball up a little bit when you're trying to apply them and if you apply another product over them, um, it seems that the product doesn't go very on very smooth. And that's with, um, I guess, if the SPF in it causes that to happen. But let me um, show you a little sample of what this looks like. This has a, a slight color to it, too. If you can see that. It does have a slight um, skin tone um, color to it. And I find doesn't have any smell to it but it does smooth out the texture of your skin tone and I find this does a very good um, job of concealing um, pores also now I never use any of my CC creams or BB creams alone by themselves because I like a fuller coverage and I do use a variety of different foundations um, mostly uh, liquid foundations but I have used the Laura Mercier um, uh, mineral powder foundation and I find it goes over wonderfully with that but she, if you watch Lisa Lisa D1 you know that she uses that over her CC cream all the time and it works great so this is my number two pick of my CC BB creams and of course this one was 37 almost 38 dollars so it is quite expensive uh, my next favorite BB cream would have to be the hand skin premium cos cos <laughs> premium super magic bb cream sorry guys but this is what it looks like right here and um this you can get on amazon.com for um, 31.99 so this is pricey also but um on the reviews from amazon for this product right here it got five out of five stars so Quite a, uh, a few people really like this BB cream, and um, to be honest, I've used it about two times, I think, and it does have a color to it also. Now, I find this one does not go on quite as smooth as the other two did. It's a uh, it's a little bit um, harder to um, rub into the skin, but. Um, this this one is also what does this hand skin BB cream it's a whitening product it's wrinkle free and it's a coverage so that's all the things that this um, item is supposed to provide now the, the two times that I have used it I didn't find that I liked it as much as I liked this one right here and I've had um, this one quite a bit longer but I always seem to go back to this super skin 79 um, BB cream because I really like it. Now, I'm not saying this product is not good but um, it has an SPF of 30 I, I have to say that I just love this one so much better um, I, I will use all this product but I don't think I will repurchase it 
Now, my next um, BB cream I have is from the drugstore. It's a Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB cream, and I bought got mine in light medium. And a lot of people have done reviews on this. I'm sure you've seen it on YouTube, and some people um, just didn't care for it. Now I like it because I have very dry skin. I didn't used to have dry skin when I was younger. I had um, combination skin. I, I can't say I ever had really oily skin, but I had combination skin. And um, right now my skin is very dry, and I find this to be very moisturizing. And I love to use this as a moisturizer underneath my makeup, underneath my foundation. Um, you wouldn't even need to use um, any kind of uh, moisturizer, I don't think, whatsoever if you use this Garnier um, Skimmy New BB Cream. Um, now this one is supposed to provide uh, a sheer coverage and it has um, SPF in it of 15 and you get 2.5 fluid ounces in this and of course the price is drugstore price $11.97 you can get this off Amazon.com but um, you know this is still not cheaper than this BB cream right here that I got off Amazon.com and this comes from Korea this um, I think is basically made in the United States I could be wrong but no it says um, yeah made in USA so this is a United States product made in the USA whereas this is um, imported from Korea so I do like this product and I say um, if you have very dry skin it is worth the price and you get quite a bit of product inside as a matter of fact I've had this for hmm, a good 10 months I would say or since it very first came out I went and bought it and um, I still have quite a bit, but then again, I don't use it every day. But when, in days when I feel extra dry, I do like to use this one. So this one I do recommend also. Um, and last but not least is my newest product I just purchased. Um, and it is the Olay Total Effect 7-in-1 Tone Correcting, Moisturizing, and Sunscreen. And this is what this product looks like. Sometimes you see the thing that says um, CC Cream on it, but... Actually, it is the same product that you can get in Walmart, Target, and it just doesn't have the, the CC on it. Um, I had just picked this up a few days ago, and um, now you can see this one is very, very, um, it's, oh, how do I say, I want to say wet because it's like a very wet product. So, um. It doesn't have any coverage at all. Basically, it's more, I would say this is more like a moisturizer because don't expect to get any kind of coverage from this whatsoever. But this, I would say, is more like a um, skin product for your skin. And um, let me read what it says on the back of it. Helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection. Um, de decreases the risk of skin cancer and early skin aging caused by the sun um, this does have a SPF of 15 and this is in light medium I believe it comes in different colors and uh, let me just read something what about this Olay tone correcting it's seventeen dollars and fifty one cents on amazon.com and it got three and a half stars out of five so it's 50 mils and um, it's supposed to reduce um, lines, wrinkles, uneven skin tone, age spots, and improve cell turnover. Now since I had just purchased this um, a few days before I left on vacation, I can't really um, attest to uh, you know, uh, reducing uh, age spots and um, uh, wrinkles and things of that nature. but. Um, for the price, and it is, you can find it readily in any drugstore, Walmart, or Target. Um, it's easy, accessible. Um, I was very interested in picking up and trying this. So, um, I'll try it out and let you guys, get back with you guys and see how I like it and, and uh, do a more thorough review on this Olay. But I find I do like um, Olay products really well. I have quite a few of Olay products that I do use, the Regenerous and... Um, the under eye um, 
little small tube I do um, really like Olay and um, I do recommend most Olay products and I'm sure most of you have tried Olay products so you would know whether you like them or don't like them but anyway guys I hope you have a great holiday and um, I did do a, a video uh, I picked up some products in Las Vegas at the Lush store and I have purchased you know a lot of products from Lush um, even before I started watching YouTube videos about Lush products. But um, I love Lush and I'm going to get that uploaded for you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And um, please subscribe. And I hope you all are doing great. And take care. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.